So behind me, guys, you see everything I will be needing for my heavyweight GPU battle. That is my P67 with a Core i7 2600K overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz, my 8 gigs of Mushkin Redline RAM. I've got my 120 gig Intel SATA 3 510 series SSD, and I have a 30 inch monitor supporting a resolution of 2560 by 1600. So this is the highest single monitor res that you will typically find in a PC scenario, although it's fairly atypical. Most people do not have 30 inch monitors. However, the kinds of people who are buying these $700 graphics cards often have 30 inch monitors. So that's why this is fairly relevant. Now, the reason that these video cards re the reason that a lot of people who own these video cards have 30 inch monitors is that they're very well made for each other. These video cards don't really stretch their wings until you give them a 30 inch monitor to play in. Um, otherwise, they don't really separate themselves from the rest of the pack. And a 30 inch monitor is not really able to perform properly without a powerful graphics card driving it, especially if you want to play the latest 3D games. So for this, Heavyweight Showdown, I will be taking the 6990 and the GTX 590, and they will be battling it out like this. <sighs> pew, pew! Ah, don't bite my leg! Ah! No, but really, I'll be doing benchmarks. So as you guys can clearly see from the charts and graphs segment of the video, this isn't really a clear cut decision. So the GTX 590 and the 6990 actually trade blows depending on which title you are most interested in running. Um, this it holds true at 1920 by 1080 as well as at 2560 by 1600 so it seems to be just generally how these cards perform with respect to each other. So, I mean, uh, the best thing to do would be to find reviews and find out if either card has a clear advantage in the games that you do prefer to play. And you can make a decision based on that, but there are also some other factors. So each AMD and Nvidia have some advantages that are unique to their cards that are different from each other. So both of them have a similar um, similar cooling solutions in the sense that they both use a central fan that exhausts the majority of the heat into your case. So that's something that you may or may not want to factor in. Uh, the AMD one probably exhausts a little bit more out of the case because the NVIDIA card has this DVI port right here. Okay, so that's something that probably won't weigh in. Um, the next thing that I would probably consider is power consumption. So the power consumption of the AMD card is significantly higher, um, especially under load. Um, at idle, the GTX 590 is a substantially uh, lower power consumption card. Another thing to factor in is definitely noise. The 6990 is a significantly louder card. Um, if you check out my video, I actually have one that is either uploaded now or will be uploaded soon, depending when you're watching this, uh, where I compare the acoustics of the GTX 590 with the acoustics of the 6990, and I also look at the temperatures that they run at. Um, you can factor in price. Price is definitely something, although they should be priced fairly similar, at least at launch. Similarly, excuse me. Um, and then the other thing would be unique features. So unique features of these two GPU makers um, are, would be, Ifinity is the big one on the AMD side. So the 6990 actually supports up to five displays. So I've got a video up on my NCIXCOM channel where I actually run five displays in portrait mode um, for five times HD resolution and uh, run some games on that. It looks pretty cool. It's a very neat gaming experience. And then on the NVIDIA side, we've got 3D Vision. So 3D Vision is, uh, well, 
stereoscopic 3D with an NVIDIA ecosystem. So you just have to have a 3D vision supporting display. There are projectors, there are monitors out there. You have to have the 3D vision glasses and then you have to have a GeForce graphics card. So they got 3D vision. They've also got PhysX, so there's a number of games that support PhysX effects. And last but not least, they've got CUDA. So CUDA will allow you to use your GPU to offload some compute uh, style um, calculations to your GPU. Now direct compute is supported on AMD cards and some uh, some applications do take advantage of that as well. So thank you for checking out my video on the you know battle of the heavyweight Titan graphics cards and uh, hopefully you'll excuse me for my mistakes while filming this. After all it is not very um, it is not a normal time of day, and I'm very tired, and I would really like to go to sleep. So, good night, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. If I can find the button, that'd be good.